Hello, this is Panda back again. Uh, this is going to be my first YouTube tutorial, and what I'm going to show you how to build is uh, my long distance chess minecart unloading sending thing. I uh, didn't know what else really to call it because uh, there's really no short way of saying it. So, here's the system as it is on our server. This is the Panda Land server I created, and um, what happens is we have mines off in different directions here and um, we have six carts in a dispenser we load them we send them all off and uh, this allows us to uh, get those carts unloaded and sent back to us without us having to leave the mine or stop mining so um, I think most of you have seen this before. If you've watched my videos, if it's the first time, well, uh, welcome. So this is our main station, main hub. We got quite a few little other builds in here, which hopefully we'll get to in other videos. So rundown of basically what this does is we have a selector panel on the other side of this wall. We can choose which mine to send these cards to. Now, we can also send cards through unloaded chunks. So, uh, this is all vanilla Minecraft, and I will get into that. What happens is, at our mines that are too far away from this station to go into unloaded chunks and your cards freeze up, well, there's a way for the player to follow at each one of our mines, and the player will come out here, the chest cards will go up there, get unloaded, once they're unloaded, uh, it'll send all the cards and the player back to the mine. So, here's our selector panel. We can choose which mine we're going to. And uh, so, let's just get on with the tutorial. Now, here's the uh, system with out all of the other builds around it. So I'm going to split this up into about four videos I expect and um, we'll go ahead and walk through how to do this. So the yellow wool is of course the track sections up on top. The orange wool will be all the circuitry and the black wool is just for the purpose of this tutorial so you can send these off in whichever direction you want it doesn't matter. These are a few of the items you'll need, a block, block, uh, block of your choice, repeater, comparator, detector rails, power rails, regular rails, redstone torches, some sticky pistons, buttons, hoppers, redstone dust, redstone block, and if you want to light up like that, you'll need uh, your redstone lamps, and if you want to put your destinations, you'll need a sign. So, I started building it here. Um, this is a completed system. I have stretched it out a little bit to make it a little easier for the purpose of this tutorial. On my server, this actually comes back up this way. So let this is all tucked in a little further. But, um, first thing is the uh, reset. This is where you'll need to start. Um, just come up one, two, three, four, five blocks put a block right there put your torch on the other side of this button put another torch right there have a space in between three blocks like this with a repeater on top and that's it that'll be your reset for the your selector panel so to do the rest of this we have some stuff everywhere because uh, came in, built it, there was a problem with our video software where it didn't pick up my sound, so I had completed this tutorial already and uh, had to start over again, so that's what all that stuff's from. So, what you'll want to do, as you can see I haven't completely finished tearing it apart, is uh, got to make sure you have a block in between each one, so you'll come up one, two, three blocks. Come back to block here, torch there, some dust, 
and you'll need a repeater right there. Another block. Block on top. Block this way. With another torch. Then what you do is put another block on top. Break the one in the middle. Redstone dust right there. Torch there. Repeater facing that way. Another repeater facing this way. Block in the middle. Torch. Block. Torch. Block. Torch. And then where you want your tracks to be. You can carry this up as high as you want. Um, I just came up this many. So. And that's it. That's each thing now to uh, finish it off. Like I have it here. You know, place a lamp on top with some dust right there. And that'll give you the light so you'll know it's which track is selected. So and then all we need is a button right there. And that's it. That's done. So to wire in our redstone, our uh, reset, come over here in between each one, place a block right there, block right there, and you'll need repeaters running down that way. So now your reset will reset the line. So go ahead and do another one here. Two blocks, come up two blocks and over two blocks then you'll need redstone dust right there torch there repeater a block three blocks high block in the middle delete the block right here place some dust and a torch repeater, block, and repeater facing this direction. And that's it. So put in our dust here, our lamp, and we'll do it one more time. Two, two, and two. Torch, dust, 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 lamp. Finish putting in our reset, which you need to place a block right there. And a repeater facing that way. And now your reset functions. Place our buttons. And now we can select the track we want. set this back today. Now, what this does is you have your detector rails here. This is what keeps your carts going the direction they're supposed to go. So, I have started building this clock down here and uh, need to place some dust right there. clock is pretty easy so um, it's just a repeater a block a comparator facing this hopper another repeater 
which will be facing that hopper and a comparator on the end and a repeater right there and then just connect that all together so you should have something that looks like this you need to make sure you put a torch on that block and two pieces of dust right here and once you have that you need to build a uh, track section now you can make this I made it four you can make it six ten however many you want to and um, do it however you like so I'll need some rails and you'll need a detector rail make sure all your detector rails are in line with each other here and uh, you won't have any problems so once you have this built let's take a look here you'll need to have this call it the overflow loop so what will happen is if for example you do not have a destination selected you've already sent your carts in they've been unloaded and now it's sending them off nothing is selected so it'll send them through this and they'll just come back around and go right back up to where they were so your carts won't vanish off into different directions and then uh, you have to figure out where they went so let's go ahead and turn our render distance down here to help with our resident frame rate here and um, so once you have this built now you need to make sure when there's no destination selected that all your tracks are facing this direction if they're not, you'll have problems. So what we need to do is come to the first one, place two blocks, delete the one in the middle, and run this out to the last track in your destination. Do not put it to the one that's going to your unloader. Dust there dust all along this come out one more come down delete that one and this is where you're going to need your sticky pistons so go ahead and get your sticky pistons ready if I'm going too fast just pause the video and uh, just need one sticky piston there redstone dust right there You'll need a redstone block. Redstone block. And place it right there. Okay, once you have that, come back to three blocks from this redstone block. Delete those. And another sticky piston right there. come to your redstone block, come down one, over one, over two. Place your dust right there with the torch right there. And what we're going to do is just carry this signal down to our clock down here at the bottom. So, uh, place a block on bottom. One more. Delete that. Dust on top. Redstone torch. I just need to connect all those together, delete that, that doesn't need that. So now what will happen is when a minecart comes in hits this detector rail 
pushes that piston out, activate this clock down here. As you can see, all those are now lit. You'll need at least 11 items in there to handle six carts. And what that does is it flips all those tracks the way they need to go, as you can see right there. So now you might be wondering, well, if I s send the six carts back through this system, when the first cart hits this, these tracks are going to change and some carts are going to end up going down the wrong line. So that's what this circuit over here is going to be for. So we come over here. Like that. right in line with this piston. Place the torch right there, activating that piston. Come down one, and then over until you're above this other clock we made down here. So you should have something like that. Fill this in. Like that. And then you need a comparator facing that direction. With a repeater going into that block. Now you'll need your hopper. Two hoppers. And place a hopper right there another one facing into it, delete that one, and go back into it again. A block next to that hopper, comparator facing that way, and a repeater facing into that hopper. Block there, redstone dust there, torch and two pieces of dust right there come out from this block here with the torch come out one come out two and do just like that so that you're directly underneath this Place a repeater there. Dust, 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 and dust. Come out one more. Like there. Come up. Place two blocks right here. Delete that one. So that one's going to be right underneath that detector rail. And place your dust right here. All on there, connecting that up. So now. Oh, and before we get back over here, come over to this repeater with the dust, and you need to put in at least 15. So the other one was 11. This one's got to be at least 15 for six mine carts to function, right? If you have more mine carts, then you obviously need to extend these delays. If you have less, then you can shorten them up a little bit. So now what happens? The cart comes through pulls that piston away, deactivating these detector rails here so that it won't mess up what you're doing. When it's done, it'll put the redstone block back and now those will function. Go ahead and set it back to day here. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Now then, once you're done with that, all you gotta do is You know, s send these off in the different directions you need to go to for different mines, different farms, you know, what whatever you got going on, you know. So, and uh, that's it. That's all there is to it. 
so I'm going to be showing you the rest of the system I'm gonna break this up into four videos like I said and uh, let you see it and here's one more demonstration of this system so you can see we're coming in off this third track here so we got our six carts go ahead and drop our six carts one two three four five and six so for all intents and purposes this is going to your unloader and uh, carts are being unloaded so now we want to send them back one two three four five and six and we'll get all our tracks off that third one and that's it guys um, it's my first tutorial so uh, hope it went all right for the first one but um, we'll improve over time so what I'm gonna do is build all the other sections of this system on this world and then I'm gonna make it a world download so y'all can see for see it for yourself and um, use it from there obviously you'll want to fill all these in you know to make it look nice on your world all right that's it